owning a car in abroad has more disadvantage than advantage. Hear me out. Apart from the fact that public transport is always late, like 80% of the time, the bus is late. Or the fact that you have to stay two hours on the bus to get to somewhere that you can get to in like five minutes. And the fact that you probably sometimes there's no space on the bus and you have to stand. Or the fact that people will be making out there's no privacy on the bus, like a lot of shenanigans going on. Apart from that, it is cheap. My bus pass is $120 in a month. And that one that bus pass, I can use it 10 million times in one day. As far as I've paid like the monthly fee. Now owning a car, first of all, you buy the car. After buy the car, insurance. Mind you, insurance is determinant on the type of car you drive, the model, the year. If you drive, for example, a Mercedes, a Mercedes Benz insurance, nothing less than $150. And that's even maybe the least safe. What am I even saying? Maybe 200 upward. That is insurance. And it is every month. Every month. You have to pay insurance every month. Like $150 every month. And the insurance said, you might not use it because you might not. But I mean, no accident, no scratch, nothing. You might not use the insurance, but still, you have to pay. Number two, parking, my dear. You pay for parking everywhere, even in your house. Because tell me why I rented an apartment and I still have to pay to park my car in my own apartment that I'm paying for. Like, how does that make sense? I'll still be paying for parking. You pay for parking at home, parking at work. Even if you go out to maybe downtown, so you will still pay for parking. If you park by the roadside, you will still pay for parking. Like that parking fee alone uh, is enough to like what's that? Number three, tickets. No matter how good a driver you are in this Canada, you go chop tickets. Those tickets guys, they will find you. If you don't collect parking tickets, you will collect um light tickets, the red light ticket. If you don't collect red light tickets, you will collect um um over speeding tickets. See that camera, it will capture you in 3D and then it's like you cannot even deny it. It's you. So imagine like tickets all the time. Like imagine getting three tickets in a week. My my dear, how would you do that? Point number four. Wait, what's my point number four again? I don't even forget. Okay, point number four. Maintenance and fuel. My dear, you can just sleep like this and wake up and call five hundred dollars out because your car is faulty. See, you see all those mechanics? Marry them while lying. I didn't get money pass for this abroad. Because tell me why to change plug. My cousin wanted to change that plug the other day. They collected one hundred fifty dollars for her just to change plug. Plug, plug. <laughs> that brother pay me call do for me for like maybe two thousand or two five. Plug one fifty dollar. So add that to your expenses. Though. Like aside from your living as well, add that to your expenses. Number five, please tell me why we have winter tire and summer tire. Why will you use one tire for winter, another tire for summer? And mind you, they catch you that you're using summer tire during winter, they will see fine. Like so please. Apart from the fact that okay, I'm driving my car and I'm like you know doing you know all that your girl you will see me drive, but aside from that, yeah, single public transport is the best. Or long it's the best though because it is cheap. I don't have to think about parking, I don't have to think about ticket, I don't have to think about insurance or whatever. But only in a car, parking, insurance, fears, fear of tickets, fear maintenance. My dear, in fact, at this point. I think I'll just stick to my boss. It is where you. So this lady just revealed the whole truth. I mean, I could actually attest to it that owning a car is more expensive abroad than you just having bus pass, train pass to move around in the whichever European country you are, or in Canada or USA. First thing is that if you own a car, like she said. You are going to be paying for parking fee, insurance every month. What she's saying is 150 Canadian dollars, or as the case may be, it could it could go as high. It could it could be higher than that, depending on the city that you are living. In. Me, I prefer bus pass or train pass. The only disadvantage in bus pass or train pass is that you have to wait. You know for the bus to arrive or to because buses or train move with time if the bus that is coming to your junction or where you want to catch the bus or the train if it's going to pass by two o'clock 
exactly 2 o'clock, let's say 2 p.m., exactly 2, 2 p.m., the boss of the train will show up. But let's say you have you finished with what, what you are doing by 12 or by 1, the boss of train will not show up until that stipulated time that the boss of the train will pass uh, that uh, route. Another disadvantage is that you just have to wait. But aside that, that you have to wait or most of the times the train could be filled up, you have to stand. You stand um, you know, throughout your 20 minutes, 30 minutes trip or whatever, or maybe one hour. But the good thing is, as the train co- or the bus continues to you know, uh, move, people will keep alighting. Some will move out or maybe you just stay close to someone and say, okay, once you get up, I'll, s- I'll be on your seat. Person gets gets to his junction or gets to his stop and alights. Then you take over that person's seat. If I mean every if you have good interaction with the person, you know that's just it. So I prefer as a person just getting that bus pass, train pass, and just I know we like you know luxurious life. Many of us Africans, mostly Nigerians, when you go out there, you 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 make your money first month, second third. Maybe like four, four months over there. Mostly in Canada now or USA, it's, you just decide to buy a car. And most times you buy it, you know, uh, you buy it and you are paying instrumentally. You know, you can only car and then you pay up after two to three years. You are paying instrumentally. Not, yes, it could be done in Nigeria, but before that kind of package will be given to you, it takes time. You know, so I don't really. I won't even suggest, except you just, maybe you, you feel like buying it is an achievement, you just have to buy it, fine. The only, except maybe depend on the work you are doing as well, you know, there's, there's the kind of work you, you, you'll be doing, you don't have to wait for the train or the car you know, that long for them to pick you up, I know, from your junction and then you go to work. So that's why I feel most people buy um, their own car so that they can move around whenever they want to move around. You know, get to wherever they want to get to on time, and, not, and maybe maybe they don't need to wait for the bus or the train to come pick them. So overall, if you have the money, go get your own car. If you have a job that demands you to move around, that you need to get to your office, you need to move around at a specific time, a time that that does not you know uh, correspond with the time of the train or the bus passing your location you really need to get a car but if not maybe you're just a student or a you know contract worker you just get you have a lot of shifts because it can only affect those that have you know have different shifts then you have shift by two slow time and that time you have that shift the boss will not come to that your location at that time but you can always book cab you know but cab is costly that's just the thing I would prefer you just get bus pass, train pass, then you'll be moving around with it. The beautiful thing like she noted in the train pass or bus pass is that you can use it more than 10 times a day. Imagine if you are just hopping, jumping from one bus to the other, one train to the other, you are paying different fees. You know, if I would pay more than the amount you use in subscribing for that uh, pass in one month. She was saying that she paid 150, you know, Canadian dollars if I'm not mistaken, for a whole month. But in a day, you should have, you should have used more than 100 dollars, 100 Canadian dollars in a day with the same purpose. So the the beautiful thing out there is just you um, getting to know which one is best for you. I would suggest if you are not that financially buoyant, why? Why are you going to get a car when you know you pay insurance? You are you know insuring your car. You know when maybe there is uh, let's say an accident or something, the car breaks down. You now take it to insurance. Say okay, I'm paying insurance. Blah blah blah. blah. It's just it's rare that rarely happens. You know it rarely happens. So why why buying car and still spending so much? To maintain it or to you know to keep it safe and all of that so to me i prefer 
using the bus pass or train pass.